I've had a few of my students get this question wrong already, and it doesn't, it's not hard. They just, it's something about it makes them make careless mistakes. So let's read it carefully. During the study, the temperature in degrees Celsius of the air in a chamber was recorded to the nearest integer at certain times. The scatter plot shows the recorded temperature y in degrees Celsius of the air in the chamber x minutes after the start of the study. What was the average rate of change in degrees Celsius per minute of the recorded temperature of the air in the chamber from x equals 5 to x equals 7? So this is a very complicated way of asking for the slope. Now, since it's not a continuous line, they're not asking for the slope of like the overall line of best fit. They're, they're specifying which points for us to use, but we're just going to use this, the normal slope formula. Now, there are things I would check for, right? I mean, is it is it still the normal slope formula where we do y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, or are they flipping it? I could definitely see the SAT kind of flipping things around for no real reason other than to see if you're paying attention. But we were told that y is the temperature and x is the minutes. And look what they want, right? In degrees Celsius per minute. So in y per x, right? So y over x, that seems good. And so let's just get these points and plug them into the formula. So one is here, one is here. Uh, let's write them down because I'm going to run out of space. Five is my X and 14 is my Y and seven is my X and 24 is my Y. So let's just do the formula. So uh, it doesn't really matter, but some of you are going to put one point first, one point the other. I'm going to try to avoid negative. So 24 minus 14, both my Y's over seven minus five. So 24 minus 14 is 10, seven minus five is two, 10 divided by two is five. Done, that's the whole question. So why did they want the slope between those two points? It just did, I don't know, it worked out nice and they probably just wanted a nice answer. So it's just random, it's just giving them what they want as so many SAT questions are, we just need to follow instructions. So don't, don't ask why, just do, and uh, there you go. Um, so that's it, just a basic slope. And yes, before you ask, yes, the other slope formula you can learn is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the same thing. If you have to ask that question, then you don't know what slope is. So the whole point of the ones and the twos is just to make sure you use the same point at the front and the same point at the back. I don't care what the numbers are. To me, it's just stupid to say the two comes before one. Just whatever way you write it, don't screw it up. Don't put things in the wrong place. Make sure you use this formula correctly because it's easy to lose negatives and that would be a waste of points.